All right, for those of you that got the CT22 display, if you're having trouble trying to wire it up, if you bought the SIA7230 kit, you'll actually have to redo the connectors on the display so to be able to connect to your controller. But basically, you'll have to take the yellow wire and you'll have to hook it up to the positive of your power over there and then the black wire will go to the negative of your controller and then the yellow white wire right here this one will connect to your hall sensor hall meter and then you'll have to come over here for the red wire which will have to connect to your controller switch. Depending if you got this kit, it would be over here to this gray wire, which would uh, connect to your switch and of course bridge the ignition and the red wire. And then over here, you would have to take this black wire And this green wire here. And then you would have to connect them to your DC to DC converter right here. So depending on how your DC to DC converter is colored. Mine, we have the yellow and black wire, which is black would be the negative. And the yellow wire on the DC to DC converter. Would be over here is the output line. All right. So this actually doesn't have a 12 volt ground coming out. It's only a three wire one. I should have bought a different one, but that's all right. So on your DC to DC converter, you got the positive coming off your controller, which is your inline from your battery, which depending on your battery, it could be uh, whatever you got. Mine, uh, 72 volt here. And that's basically how you would hook it up. And depending on your controller and whatnot, um, some may have more switches. But then after you hook all that up, of course, just make sure you get your hall sensor connected. And you can plug in your power over here. I'll just give you a quick test run. And I got to hook up to this switch here, this button. And as you can see, the controller lights up. I got only a 60 volt battery hooked up to it right now. So it does show E on your the C22. Uh, maybe I'll make a video up how to program it. But uh, it should be reading full actually because it's only a 60 volt battery right here. So it's a 15S battery. And of course you gotta adjust the clock and depending where you live in, kilometers an hour, or miles per hour, depending on what. So that's basically how to rewire it. Or your display for the CT22 display. So just be warned that you do have to buy a kit, maybe an automotive kit to rewire your connections like I did. Maybe I'll change it out and put a 4-1 four, four to connect it. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes when I wire it into the bike. But I'm still waiting for more parts and stuff. But basically that's it. All right, till next time.